In the previous video, we used schematics to generate a standalone component. We then used this component in our application. But, as mentioned, it was eagerly loaded. And in this video, we will explore how we can lazy load the full component. So far, we are using AppFoo eagerly inside our app component. Lazy loading is still performed by the router. This didn't change from ng modules to standalone components. So let's drop in a router outlet. Let's also remove our eager loaded AppFoo component and replace it with a simple link that uses the router link which routes to a route named Foo. Since our app component already imports the router module, we can use the router link and the router outlet inside our app component's HTML. But how do we configure our routes? From the ng module world, we are used to use a method called for root. So we would call router module for root. So let's do that here as well. So if we call router module for root, we get an error. And the error is that we cannot provide a module with providers inside a standalone components imports array. A standalone components imports array only accepts other standalone components or other ng modules, but not modules with providers. So how do we call for root then? Well, let's remove the for root call here and just simply leave the router module import. Let's then also switch to the main TS where we will actually configure our routes. So we are already using the bootstrap application function and this function accepts a second argument which are options. Those options allow us to add some providers. To add the router module providers we can use a new method called import providers from and this method allows us to call the router module for root and will then import all its providers. So we call import providers from with router module for root. So next we will generate our routes. Our routes array contains a route with a path foo and a load component callback that is then responsible for loading the standalone foo component. If we run our application and click on foo, we can see that we successfully routed to the foo component. But let's also open up the network tab to check if our foo component was actually lazy loaded. So initially we load a bunch of JS files. So let's clear the log and route to foo. And we can see that the foo component is lazy loaded and it's only loaded if we hit the foo route. <clears throat> so we successfully lazy loaded a standalone component in Angular.